Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today I have another very exciting Kaiser unboxing for you guys. These usually are pretty fire, so I cannot wait to tear into this bag and uh, just see what we have in here. And you know what? I'm not even going to waste any more talking. I'm going to get right into it. Today we are unboxing with the Kaiser Assassin, not the full size, it's just the regular because it happened to be sitting by me. And uh, let's see here. Let's dig in and just see what we got this time. Let's see, we have, I think there's four packages in here. One, two, and I have three out, yeah, so we got four. I hope uh, I hope everyone else is avoiding the um, the cold bug that's going around. I, I managed to avoid it for quite a while, but it finally hit me, and I'm not uh, not exactly feeling my regular chippy self today, but you know what? The show must go on. The reviews got to keep coming, and uh, Kaiser's not going to stop. They're going to keep bringing the heat, so uh, I'm going to try and keep pace with them. But let's see what we got here. Let's bring them off to the side and go one at a time and uh, just see what we have here. Hope everyone else can manage to avoid the cold bug, though, because let me tell you, it, it does suck. But let's see here. Here we go. First one up. What do we got here? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Here we have, oh boy, this is exciting. The Kaiser Original, but not aluminum. This looks like a G10 version, kind of in the play that they did with, uh, what was that, the Cormorant, the Cormorant with kind of the black and white. I like that. Look at that, blade centering, dead nuts, and uh, oh yeah. Oh, this, okay, this is really nice. This is, this is a pretty different action from the original, 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 <laughs> the aluminum original. Um, yeah, very, very smooth. Right out of the box, too. Definitely can take a little breaking in, but I tell you, the design of this knife and the way those thumb studs work and just the ergos on this guy are so good. Is that stone washed or satin? That's eh, satin. That's okay. Satin blade. So be it. What do we got here? Number 88, 154 CM steel. This is just a great knife. And this is another knife, too. They they got This has got to be a mainstay in the Kaiser lineup. And I know there's a bigger size coming, too, which is going to be amazing. I really hope the XL version is in one of these boxes, but I don't know if it is or not, because obviously you guys are experiencing this with me. Um, but this is always a good one. Just fantastic. The Kaiser Original in G10, black and white, tuxedo G10. Very, very nice offering. I'm assuming these are going to be somewhere in the seventy-five to eighty-five dollar range, which is worth the original. The, the first original fell into, so uh, shouldn't be any issue with that. Nice price, excellent knife, good to go. All right, let's keep moving and see what we have next here. Uh, this one has got some substantial weight to it, so I'm assuming this is going to be some type of brass or copper in here. Just a guess based off the weight, and let's see here, <laughs> oh boy, okay, maybe not be, may not be brass or copper, it's just a big knife, let's see, look at that, <laughs> this just makes me happy, because this is such a great design, and I'm really, really curious to see how this thing middle finger flicks, if they got the detent right on this, look at this beast. I'm not going to call it a behemoth because uh, the, the mini paragon is a behemoth. This, though, is just a slab of, oh, yeah. Yes, I feel better. You know what, you guys? I just found the cure to the common cold, a jumbo Kaiser sheepdog with a thumb cut out. This is just fantastic. Super smooth action. <laughs> this is too good. Watch this. Bam! This is awesome. This really is awesome. And the ergos, boy, I tell you what, big hands are going to love it. Small hands probably aren't going to hate it because I tell you what, there's a lot of there's a lot of real estate on this handle. Got 154 cm. This is everything I love about the original Sheepdog. Not the mini, because I've said before I love the mini Sheepdog, but that original Sheepdog with the blade cut out, basically this exact same setup here, this is it for me for Kaiser when it comes to the Sheepdog. It's the perfect one, and uh, I just absolutely love this. 
I absolutely love it. I love how, you know, a good amount of that blade is behind the scale too. So there's not a whole lot sticking out. There's a decent amount, but I'm really curious to see how this guy carries in the pocket. But man, it's very easy. It's very nice to flick that blade out. I can't believe that. They got that detent down very, very well. And listen to that noise. Listen to that thwack. Whoop. Didn't get it. There. I hear a little bit of a squeak though. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, it needs a little lube for sure. It needs a little KPL. We'll get some KPL in there. And then, boy, this thing is going to be just phenomenal with a little lube. Because that happens sometimes. Sometimes the bearings will dry out. So definitely nothing to be too alarmed about. I'm sure it's nothing KPL won't take care of. But it is still, I'll tell you what, for a big knife like this, it really does handle well when you deploy it. Sometimes when knives are really big and you go to deploy it, they can be a little cumbersome. But, oh, even, oh, ooh, even the thumb flick, the thumb flick, the thumb flick is actually better than the middle finger flick, and I can't believe I'm saying that. I really can't believe I'm saying that. This is, this is good. This is good. This is fun. It's good. And I tell you what, this is going to be an absolute bruiser of a working knife, as long as you're okay with carrying something this big. Um, not sure on the weight. Does it say the weight on here? It doesn't. I'll have to look it up. But man, oh, man. That's just stinking awesome. The Kaiser Sheepdog XL with the thumb cut out, deep carry clip, black micarta. This is a winner, winner chicken dinner. This is awesome. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, I cannot wait to play with this. That's fantastic. Okay. We got two more to take a look at and see what we got here. Now, these next two, I believe these next two are premiums. They kind of feel like the thicker box. So let's see what we got in these. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. I may stand corrected here on something. It is the premium, though, for sure. And what we have in here is the little guy with a very special scale material. I'm really happy to bring these ones to you guys. I think this is gonna be a product that everyone is going to thoroughly enjoy because they're taking some of their best models and they're using this Refere Noble uh, handle material. Obviously, it's gonna need, need a little wipe off from being in that bag. Um, but what this is, is a material that has kind of like a gold or bronze, different types of mesh mixed in the resin and it gives a very, very good, like a 3D look to it. Now, obviously, this has got a little stuff on. I'll probably have to get some mineral oil or just some some type of clean residue and just wipe these off. But I'm sure they'll wipe off and look just fine. That could just be the nature of the handle material itself. Get a little stuff stick to it as it ships. But I'm sure these will clean up no problem. But uh, let's see how it flips. Oh, yeah. Just as good as all the sheepdogs. All the sheepdogs have phenomenal action. And this is slightly thicker in the hand and I really really like that extra little bit of thickness on this version here because you know the big one obviously you don't need quite as much thickness with such a big handle but the smaller a handle gets the more that width is a little appreciated in hand more and as you can see some of this is already starting to wipe off yeah it just needs a just needs a little good wipe and it'll look good as new but just look at that material it is gorgeous is that actually hmm. Looks like there may be a little flaw there. I'll have to see. But uh, regardless, it still looks good. I just hope, I hope that's not a flaw. I hope it does kind of wipe off. I don't know if it's stuck or if that's part of the material. It could just be something stuck to it, but we'll see later. Um, but yeah, this just looks good. Looks really good. And the action is fantastic. Yes, I love that middle finger flicking action on this. This is one where you can do with the thumb flick and it's okay. But the middle finger flick is just money on this mini sheepdog. It really is so darn good. Oh, I can't wait to break this in. This is a good one. And I cannot wait to see more models come out with this. I believe it's called Refere Noble scale material. And it really is. It does look great. But I think, yeah, there may be maybe a few flaws there. I'll have to look at this closer and see if there's anything I can do to fix that. Um, but still a material with a lot of potential and I think Kaiser still they're just they're just getting their feet wet with it They're just getting used to it. So very exciting to see this and we'll see what uh, what other models they decide to bring it out in 
And uh, let's see here, we got one more. Let's see what's in this one. Where's the hair? That's... All right, this is another premium. It could very well be another Raffir Noble version here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I didn't even look at it myself this time, so I'll be a little surprised. Everybody else. Yes, this is one of my all-time favorite Kaiser models. You guys have seen it in plenty of previous videos. It's from one of my favorite designers. This is the Gemini, designed by Ray Laconico. And let's get this action going. Oh, yeah. So, so good. This is, I love that extra thickness you get from this material. And let's feel, let's give this a feel real quick and check. Yeah, this is no flaws, no nothing. This one is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Just got to, again, give it a good wipe down. And I think get the, just get the top of it off. There's definitely some stuff on there from, I think it's from actually being in the bag or maybe a powder or something that was on it. But we'll give it a good wipe down. But this material actually glows in the dark. And I even have a flashlight here to give you guys an example. But if you hold the light to it, I just found this out from my buddy Vu, uh, who works with Kaiser. If you hold a light to this, and it's ju it's just this one. I think it's just the Gemini, um, but it does actually glow. And then let's see here. Can we? Yeah, I think that gets the point across. Obviously, it's going to look darker in a, uh, <laughs> or it's going to light up more in a dark room, but you get the gist of it. Glow, light up glow material, really cool. Love this clip. Oh, that's always been one of the things I've liked to see improved on the Gemini is the clip because the original Gemini didn't have the best clip, and this one is so good. Love that milled titanium clip. So darn good, and uh, just great in hand. Nice smooth action. Yes, absolutely fantastic. Oh, and it's also worth mentioning, I don't think I mentioned this with the mini sheepdog, anything with the Refure Noble material comes in S35VN. So this is more of a premium Kaiser version. So uh, very important to know there. That's obviously probably going to bump the price up. I'm assuming any any knives with this material is probably going to make it over 100 bucks, maybe 150-ish. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on the price of these yet, um, but they should be out soon. So it'd be very interesting to see just what those prices come out at. Um, but man, I'll tell you what, the action is just still so, so good on this. And I love the flipper on this Gemini. You can light switch it really good. You can also push button it just as good, and it's just excellent. It's one of my favorite Ray designs. I couldn't be happier to have it in this version. This is immediately my favorite Gemini version. So couldn't be happier about that. There you go, guys. That was it. That was a pretty darn solid unboxing from Kaiser once again. Be sure to keep an eye out for all these. They should be dropping here relatively soon um, for everyone to pick up. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll do my best to get you answers for it. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, I'm out.